home and I walked up to him and I was like, hi, Leonardo. My name is Tiffany Haddish and I think that you are such a talented person. He's like, thank you. I think you have, you're really funny. I saw you with Chris Rock and all that. I was like, oh, thank you, thank you. So I just want to tell you something. He's like, what? I was like, uh, I want to hit. He's like, what? <laughs> I said, I want to hit that. I ain't talking about drugs. <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio is one of the most sought after men in Hollywood. In fact, he's possibly even one of the most sought after men ever. It's safe to say that there are not many women in this world who would say no to Leonardo. I'm sure you know it's not just regular people like us that crush on him, but Hollywood celebrities too. Even people that are in the same line of work as him aren't afraid to let everyone know he's their dream man. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some of the times women in Hollywood have confessed their love for Leonardo DiCaprio. Number 1. Selena Gomez. I'm just saying, I'll be legal soon. <laughs> <laughs> During this throwback interview in the year of 2010, we see an almost 18-year-old Selena Gomez confessing the fact that she, quote, really likes Leonardo DiCaprio and also shoots her shot at him by stating she's almost legal. I really, really like Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'm just saying, I'll be legal soon. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? By the way, ha uh, happy birthday this month, Thank right? Thank you. Happy birthday, you'll be 18. Number two, Anne Hathaway. And I remember his channels were from the I was like, who's that? So, lo long crush on Leo. During this interview, Anne lets everyone know that her celebrity crush is Leonardo DiCaprio, and also takes us back to the moment when she first laid eyes on him on television. Oh, Leo. 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 And my whole thing was, I'm like, yeah, you guys like him from Titanic. I loved him from, was it Growing Pains? Um, he was so, I think his character's name was like Luke or something. And I remember his channel surfing with him, I was like, who's that? So, lo long crush on Leo. Number three, Emma Stone. Really? Yeah, and then I just, it was just like walking up there and just like getting to be near him was really exciting. On Jimmy Fallon, while discussing winning an Oscar for her performance in the movie La La Land, she stated that the real highlight of the entire experience was the fact it was Leonardo DiCaprio who presented her the award. She also added that she was a diehard fan of his when she was younger. Yeah. What was what was really nuts in, in my experience was that it was Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, man. No, you can't be Leonardo who DiCaprio. Who is Jack from Titanic. I love I, I mean, mean yeah, 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 of course he is. But yeah. I had seen that movie so many times and I had a framed photo of him in my room when I was a kid that was signed by him. Really? Yeah. Number four, Teresa Palmer. And, and the necklace just said Leonardo DiCaprio and I would wear it. Teresa details her longtime love for Leonardo. She also states that her crush on him, quote, ruined her Catholicism as she originally grew up in a very religious household and wasn't allowed to be around or have crushes on boys. I saw Romeo and Juliet. It what it's what threw everything out the window. And then I became obsessed with Leonardo DiCaprio. And, <laughs> and I used to wear these, I had this necklace. I went to this very religious Catholic school and, and the necklace just said Leonardo DiCaprio. And I would wear it. Number five. It was to get pregnant by him. So when I During this appearance on Jimmy Kimmel, Tiffany details the fact that fellow comedian Kevin Hart recommended that she creates a Hollywood bucket list for all the things she wants to achieve. During this and several other interviews, she stated that getting impregnated by Leonardo DiCaprio is on the list and she plans to get it ticked off. Yep. Kevin Hart, yes, he told me to make a list. So Leonardo was on that list, okay? Oh. So, um, and that was the, it was to get pregnant by him. So when I- Recently sharing her bucket list. I am trying to get pregnant by Leonardo DiCaprio. We'll see. I met him one time, I let him know. That's what something I want to do. He thought it was hilarious, he laughed. Me and Leonardo's baby's gonna be Tiffinardo. Number six, Margot Robbie. I, I mean, I, yeah, I, for me, it's me. I, I couldn't believe it happened the first time, let alone to work with Leo again. It was kind of, yeah, ridiculous. And During this interview while promoting their new movie, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, actress Margot Robbie and Leonardo DiCaprio completely gush over each other as they discuss how they've enjoyed working with one another for a second time now. Margot is gazing at him like he's a beautiful sunset on the horizon. No, but it was so, it's so nice. Well, I'll just start off by saying, you know, in Wolf of Wall Street, seeing Margot come in and, you know, read that scene with me, I just knew I was uh, witnessing a dynamic presence in, in cinema that was about to begin. And Scorsese and myself were just kind of blown away about how much she gave back to the scene, how much she fought back. And I, and I, we both kind of, 
immediately knew that she was going to have an incredible career and she's she's made some incredible choices and given some incredible performances and 